Okay, hey, hi there. Uh, today I want to show you my uh, new InDesign plugin called uh, InDesign Toolkit and the way it works. So I have a new in, uh, InDesign document here uh, with just one layer with uh, image numbers on it. So I'm going to go ahead and open up the plugin. Here you have uh, different. Uh, am I recording? Yeah. Here you have uh, different tabs. The info tab with some info about the plugin, and you can open up the plugins website. The website you can buy the plugin from, which would be Adobe Exchange. Uh, Adobe Exchange, I guess, and my website. Here in the settings panel, uh, I disabled pretty much. Uh, um, sorry if my laptop is a little bit sluggish and slow it's because I'm recording uh, the same time uh, here uh, I disabled uh, almost all the settings except of two ones because I need to work more on them and test them more they're not production release ready yet so here you can disable or enable all the tooltips and here you can reset all the application settings because it can remember your settings and uh, you don't need to re-enter your, all your settings uh, each time you open the, uh, the application, the plugin. Uh, it remembers pretty much everything except of the, the few ones like uh, selected page because not all your documents have the same page numbers and everything. Um, so it's uh, it's safer to not not save this uh, otherwise it may behave a little bit weird uh, or create bugs so for this release at least I, I left it like this so here you can uh, pick between different patterns different available patterns uh, in this release I, I, I decided to go with nine different patterns patterns even uh, though there is more a lot more ready but uh, for this release I'm gonna leave it at 9 no I'm not sure if I'm gonna put all of them uh, make all of them available in free release but uh, I'm not decided yet so. Uh, so I'm gonna pick this one for this demonstration here you can set the uh, dimensions and uh, the position of uh, created image uh, these uh, little boxes you can use them to align your uh, your image in the page for example there is uh, nine of them that you can use for all the different uh, alignments so at this one you can uh, press to make it like cover your whole page so for this demonstration I gotta go ahead and create uh, uh, a sidebar here you can s uh, select your DPI again I'm not sure for this one if I'm gonna put uh, I'm gonna make uh, all the APIs uh, DPIs available in free release because I'm using a terrace party uh, image processing uh, piece of code uh, that I pay, f I have to pay uh, $300 uh, to be able to use it. So I'm using Inconvert, by the way. Uh, but for the future releases, I guess uh, I'm gonna switch to uh, to uh, Image Magic Convert. Uh, then I may release, uh, make them available in free uh, release as well. So here I'm gonna pick 300 dpi. Here you can pick if you want to mirror the exposition in facing page. If your document has uh, facing page, you can pick this. Uh, you can select this, and uh, uh, it will mirror the exposition uh, in the even and odd pages. Uh, it doesn't flip the image itself, but the position. Uh, and it works in all the documents even if your document doesn't have facing pages you can still choose this it depends on you okay uh, here you can select the uh, image formats there's a lot of formats but I may uh, for this release the only format available is TIFF for future releases I may add more 
here you can uh, choose a uh, prefix it will save all your images with this prefix for example let's say left bar here you can uh, choose the color mode RGB, CMYK, grayscale and black and white I'm gonna pick grayscale since my pattern is black and white uh, I, can, I can choose black and white as well but uh, mm, I guess grayscale may be smoother here you can pick the uh, folder where you want to uh, where you want the plugin to save all the images in by default it's your uh, your document in this uh, your current document uh, your current InDesign document uh, folder where you saved your InDesign document you can create a, a new folder as well I'm gonna leave it like this you can create a subdirectory as well uh, for example uh, to save to keep to keep your uh, your InDesign uh, folder clean and like uh, keep all the visual assets in in a place I just called it visuals so that's fine uh, and then you can select the page you have a lot of options here you can set all page all even page all old page or you can uh, say from page to page or define specific pages uh, for these four options uh, you have uh, uh, you have an additional option that you can exclude pages like for example uh, if I pick all pages I can exclude the two first pages let's say they are my cover for the uh, cover pages so I don't want the, these images to be in those pages um, and as you see when you change things you can see uh, you can uh, you can see uh, a preview of all the selected pages in this text box as far as it fits uh, in this small text box so if I choose event page for example you see that it updates that uh, or you can just specify specify it uh, directly in this box I'm gonna go ahead and pick uh, all page except of 24 and 25 and uh, because my document my page is start from 24 so and if you enter uh, a number higher or uh, lower than your current document page it uh, the application won't accept it for example it will give you this error saying that it's more uh, you that this page doesn't exist and it will remove that uh, that page number from the text box so we're gonna uh, press ok uh, here you can see the direction where your uh, visual is gonna be saved uh, so let's go ahead and uh, press okay to see what will happen okay uh, done eight images was generated and imported to your document cool so as you can see um, as you can see my document got populated with uh, all these uh, patterns except of the first two pages um, as you can see I'll show you the yeah that's the it, it is my uh, InDesign uh, document folder and you can see that it created a folder named visuals with all the images in it and each of them are unique that means even if you have a document with hundreds of pages uh, none of them would be similar they would be uh, they would be unique which is which is a pretty interesting feature uh, so because if you want to do it yourself uh, you just can't or if you do it it would be really difficult so 
uh, and this is uh, uh, they are all 300 dpi as you can see and have alpha channel um, so yeah that's it if you if uh, I can I can like create bunch of other patterns let's uh, let's choose this one for example or uh, or this one as well and this time I'm gonna put them in the right side and I gonna uh, change the prefix to right bar image and then I guess I can ah uh, this time uh, yeah I guess you can press go to create the image yeah what oh okay I didn't I made a mistake just need to remove these And as you can see, the uh, the plugin will create a layer for you. It doesn't mess with your other layers. So if you didn't like something, you can just uh, uh, you can just remove that layer. And if you want to create the new visuals in in a new layer and not in the same layer, you just need to rename this layer. For example, left. Uh, the next time the plugin will create a new layer you can uh, modify and like put the stuff in that layer uh, and the plugin won't mess with those but I guess it's a better better choice to to not to keep all those uh, auto generated visuals in in a layer so it's uh, easier to to work with your document so let's open up the plugin again. It's oh yeah, that's why. Okay, let's pick this one. No, uh, it wasn't this one that I picked. Uh, let's pick this one, the more effect, and press OK. So as you can see, it will create a new layer as soon as all the images are ready. You see, and it will lock it for you so you won't uh, modify it accidentally but you can unlock it if you want to uh, so these ones are more effect as you can see randomly generated more effect there's different types of more available uh, in this plugin sorry so let's create a color one as well colorful one um yeah i guess this one is as well so let's set dimensions and let's set it in the center this time so we don't need mirror x anymore and then um let's say and then center the image yeah looks good Put it on 600. Okay, but here then we need to change the, uh, the color mode to CMYK for example, and then I need don't don't forget to change the image prefix each time, otherwise it will rewrite on your previously created image. Let's say it's center and. we go okay okay so as you can see I just populated by document uh, and 
made a beautiful design with just a few clicks so yeah I worked really hard on this plugin I really hope you enjoy it you like it and let me know if you found any problem any bug any issues uh, I hope uh, to be able to sell a few uh, a few versions of this plugin so uh, to make it possible to uh, work more on it and make it possible to release future uh, versions and uh, new uh, new tools add new tools because I have a lot of ideas but it's con uh, time consuming and uh, and you know you can't work you can't you just you, you need you need to work so yeah so please consider buying it if you like it and I really hope you enjoy it thanks a lot thanks for your time and have a good day bye bye